Hello everyone, this is Gavin and in the previous tutorial, we let the admin and the category data in the database table. So in this tutorial, we are going to show the category data over here. So in order to do that, we are going to create a table over here. So let's go back to our code. And after this form, we are going to mention a div and inside this div, let's have a table. So we are going to mention the table tag here. We'll say here table. Then inside this table, we'll have the table header and the table data. So first of all, we'll keep those inside tr tag. tr tag means table row. And inside this, we'll say th means table header. So here, we are going to say category name. And let me just copy this, control C, then control V. And this one will be table data. So we'll say here td. And for now, let's say over here, the name will be size. For now, we'll just show a static data in order to do the design. We'll save it. Then we'll refresh here. And there you can see we have category name and size over here. So right now, let's make it look like a table. So in order to do that, let's go back. And for this table, we are going to mention a class. The class name will be, let's say, center. Save it. Then let's go and write some CSS for this class. So let's get the top. And here we're going to set dot center. Then we'll give to second bracket. First of all, we we'll make it, make the table in the center. So we'll say first margin, uh, it will be auto. It will make the table in the center. And let's also mention the table width as well. Let's say width will be 50% uh, table width. All the text in the table will be in the center. So let's say here text align, it will be center. So for now, let's just set this and let me just refresh over here. And there you can see it is in the center. So right now, let's add some space among them. And also, uh, let's make it look like a table. So let's go back. And here we are going to say margin, uh, margin top. Let's say margin top. It will be 50 px. And we are going to add the border. So we we'll say here border, it will be on px, solid, white. Save, refresh, and there you can see it looks like a table. So right now let's add a uh, background color for the table header. So let's make it sky blue. So for it, let's go back and here you can see that uh, for this category name, we mentioned TH. So for this TH, we'll write some CSS. So inside this style, we we'll say TH, then to second bracket. And here we we'll say background color, it will be sky blue. We can add some padding as well. Let's say padding will be 10 px. Save, refresh and there you can see. So right now we're going to show the data over here from our database table category. So in order to do that, let's go back to our code and we'll go to our admin controller. From category underscore page, basically we are getting this view. Here you can see in the URL category underscore page. So if we just go to the web.php, here you can see for the category underscore page, we are calling the admin controller category function and our admin controller, here you can see category underscore paste function is returning as this view admin dot category, which is this one. So from here, we are going to send the category data. So for it, all you need to do is that first of all, we already added the category model name at the top of our controller. So right now in this category underscore paste function, we are going to declare a variable. Let's say here dollar data, you can declare any variable, that's fine equal to we'll mention the category model and double clone we we'll say here all so we'll get all the category data and then store it in this dollar data variable and after that we'll send this dollar data to our this view so for it we need to say here comma compact and then we'll say here data so let's save it and let's go to our category.grade.php and in order to show all those data, we need to use for each loop because there is multiple data in our table. 
So what we are going to do is that here you can see that tier tag. So before this tier tag, we are going to say at the rate of for each, we say dollar data as dollar data. And we also need to in this for each loop and we'll end it over here. We'll say here at the rate of int for each. And here you can see dollar data as dollar data. This dollar data will come from here. Okay. So right now, in order to show the category name, all we need to do is that we need to give two second bracket like this. Then we need to say here dollar data, this arrow sign. And for this category table, uh, let me just go to the PCM admin. Here you can see for the category table, the column name is cat underscore title. And there is multiple data. Over here, you can see there is total around 10 data. So we are going to send over here cat underscore title. So save it. Let's go back to our browser. Then refresh. And there you can see we are able to see all the data over here. So right now let's just add a border for each data so that we can separately see those. And let's also add some padding for those data. So let's go back to our code and here uh, you can see the tr tag. So for this tr tag, we'll just write some CSS. So let's go at the top and here we're going to set tr then to second bracket and we'll say here border. It will be, let's say on px solid white and let's also add a padding. Let's say padding will be 10 px. So save it then refresh here and there you can see so this is all about this tutorial in the next tutorial we will let the admin delete that category data so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials